Welcome to Investigating the Investigators, where we will delve into the ethical dilemmas of television production. Inspired, of course, by the phone hacking scandal and the Leveson inquiry, we'll be looking at whether television faces the same pressures and the same dilemmas that led to unethical journalism in newspapers. I'll be putting a series of hypothetical challenges to a panel of producers, commissioners and lawyers. I don't think television has really sunk to the level of, say, the harassment of the McCanns or of Millie Dowler's family. Some of the things that News of the World have done are terrible and unforgivable, but not all journalists behave in that way. And investigative journalism really has to be protected, and there is a way of doing it within the law. At News of the World, we taped virtually everything because people assumed we were lying. We routinely indemnify people at the News of the World on very big stories. You set a very dangerous precedent if you start paying sources. There's a long established principle about not having to reveal your sources. Before we, we started talking about um, anonymity we would be wanting to get a little bit more evidence and we would wanting, be wanting to see documents. Can you guarantee his anonymity? In terms of giving that guarantee, this still doesn't mean that you may not be ordered to reveal your source. We're always aiming to get the story, but not at any cost. I've um, supervised a great many undercover programmes in which we've used covert recording, and uh, we've uh, used cover stories that aren't strictly true about what people are doing. I've sanctioned and supervised the buying of illegal drugs, cocaine in large amounts, amphetamine, and I recognise it's a legitimate tool. 